What is going on, Adventure Nation? In this episode, we check out one of Utah's state parks and we jump into the warm waters of a crater. This is the Motorhome Experiment. What's going on, Lorena? Good morning or Whoa, afternoon. What happened there with the camera? <laughs> Got all wonky? Good morning or afternoon, everyone. Yesterday we had an absolute awesome day at Park City. So today we're gonna go in and check out Salt Lake City. You ready for that? Yeah, we're gonna go to downtown. That's what we're doing. Yeah, downtown, check out the uh, church museum and some of the stuff in downtown. The architecture down there, from what we saw the other night when we went down just for dinner with friends, is pretty incredible. So looking forward to checking it out. All right, I must say, Lorena, that the parking garage here at City Creek is amazing. Super clean, really well lit, like every they, little nook I and cranny. I think it is four floors underground, but every corner immaculate. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's not like the, the ones in Vegas that are like scary and nasty smelling. Yeah, and we, Yeah, so good job, City Creek, downtown Salt Lake. Sure. This mall in downtown is called the City Creek and it's called that because the little creek there that runs through it. But they also have these water features where every hour they do a fire and water show. So that's kind of cool. Really, really well done. And it literally takes up the majority of the downtown. So. I think in the center, so you can come and park here and then just explore from here. That is what we're doing. Even though we just came to downtown to see- The mall. A mall. It's right. Like, we just park here and it's our base to go and see other stuff. And I think we're at the end, so we need to go that way. Go through Nordstrom? They're not gonna kick us out? They're gonna go, you don't belong here. They might kick you out. Directly across from Temple Square is the Mormon Church's History Museum, so we decided to go inside and check it out. It was chock full of information on the history of the church and gave us a better understanding of what the Mormon Church was all about. I think I'm going to try and convince Lorena to get one of these death masks made for me so she can keep it next to her bed on the nightstand. We are done with the church history museum. Pretty cool to learn about the history of the Mormon church, how it all happened and how, how they got here. That started too. Yeah, so kind of a cool thing. Now we're heading over to Temple Square. No idea what that is, but we'll find out when you guys find out. And I have to say people, it's like us personally, you know, like we follow, uh, we don't follow a religion. A specific religion. But doesn't mean that we don't appreciate other religions and what they believe or do for the world and for their people. No, so. I'm I'm okay with people believing in whatever they want to believe in. We're just curious. Yeah, it's more curiosity than anything else. Uh, Temple Square. The Temple Square here is really cool. We were just inside of the convention center or what's it called? I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Let me take out my brochure. They literally give you, there's little maps of the square where you can see where you are. 
Oh, it's called the Tabernacle. Tabernacle. So we're inside the Tabernacle. We just found out that the uh, choir performs every single day at 12 and 2. But we didn't know that. We so, thought they only performed on Thursdays, so we missed it. Yeah. I guess they rehearse on Thursdays, but they perform every day. So yeah. make sure you come and check them out because it's supposed to be beautiful, actually. Right. But the Temple Square here is really pretty cool. Very beautiful. We're going to go check out one more building here before it's time, I think, for us to go eat. Something. And everybody's so nice. Yeah, they're all super friendly. I think that's because they want us to join the team. I think it's like they drink the same thing they give people in Disney. Yeah, it might be. Wow, this building is really cool. The architecture on all of these buildings is absolutely stunning, but our favorite happened to be the Joseph Smith Memorial Building that we visited last. All right, we're leaving the square and we spent way too much time there. They're so nice. Like every five feet, somebody's there to tell you the entire history of the particular thing you're looking at, which is really cool. But uh, we're late for dinner, so we gotta yeah. we gotta go. We'll talk more about this in a little bit. That hotel was gorgeous. Oh, the well, the X Hotel. It's hotel. now the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. Holy smokes! If you guys are in Salt Lake, you gotta stop in and look at the lobby. It is nuts. Joseph or John Smith? Joseph. Oh. Joseph Smith. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is moving day out of the Salt Lake City area. We're actually in Sandy, Utah. Just still, uh, it's still in the Salt Lake yeah. metropolitan area. It's just, uh, I think, 15, 16 miles south of yeah. downtown, so pretty much Salt Lake. And we've been staying here at the uh, Skyview Mobile Home Park, Mobile Home and RV Park. Our viewer, John, yeah, owns this you. place. Thank you so much, John, by the way, for letting us stay here. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. Some mobile homes, they do have some parking spots here. So, I don't know if you can stay here though. I don't it know. It seems to be like for the most part permanent. Yeah, so um, John, if you're uh, watching this video, you might want to comment below whether or not people can stay here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice and quiet. Definitely. And now it's time to move on up the road. Actually, down the road, but we're going to go up and around and do a little circle. So, you guys will see in just a minute. But we're not going to hook up the car right now. We're going to, we got to make a quick Costco run before we head out. So, we'll see you guys on the road. We are here at Jordanell Lake. Is that what it's called? I think it's Jordanell. Jordanell State Park. And we are at the Hailstone Campground. You can see the uh, spots Pretty, yeah. are not so level where we are, but there are other spots that are level. They shouldn't the, put the motorhomes. Nice, the nice thing is that they're kind of loose. Yeah. So it's nice, but yeah, not level. Not at level all. at all. <laughs> These first two spots here, they shouldn't put motorhomes in anyways. Trailers can probably get level because they're level side to side. Just front to back is really, really tough. 
but uh, definitely not, not with a motorhome. Not all of them are like that. Like I can see probably other spots where will have been better yeah. for us to, but to be. Nice campground. We're going to take a walk down here to the lake. Never heard of Jordanel Lake before and it's a pretty huge lake. Okay. Looks like they're having sailboat fights over there. Sailboat fights are getting closer. I know. You should be there practicing. Does that mean I can get a sailboat? Yeah, just to gain general knowledge. Oh, well, why do I want to gain general knowledge of sailing if I'm not going to sail? You can sail those little boats. In the okay. <laughs> uh, you're funny, Lori. It is beautiful out here. Holy smokes. Check that out, folks. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are rolling out of the campground here at Jordanelle State Park and Reservoir. Beautiful campground. I have to say, very hard to level in some spots, but a very beautiful campground. Definitely hard to level in our spot. They actually asked if we wanted to move, and I'm like, oh, we can make it work. And we well, did. They asked us until we were actually level. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But as you can see, there's half loops, there's back ends. Uh, it's partial hookups, but they have a dump station. And all the little patios, they're like cement slabs with an amazing fire pit. It's not like your normal, just green fire pit. It's actually like a built fire yeah. pit that's pr very pretty. And um, also the picnic tables are very like well maintained. I mean, everybody here is well maintained. They actually have free Wi-Fi, which we never did. We never used. We never used. So, we just had our hotspots on. So very unusual for a state park, and yes. we don't know if it, yeah if it was usable Wi-Fi, but. And this state park has laundry, something that I didn't know. Like usually state parks don't offer, but this one does. Look at that view. So as you can see, yeah, the, the reservoir is really cool. Never heard of it before, but of course, you know, we're not from Utah. Never been to Utah before, and it's a pretty big reservoir. And looks like it's pretty popular for the folks from Salt Lake. They have so many lakes and reservoirs here in Utah. Yep. And I, uh, this is water electric only. It's 35 bucks a night. So, good spot. The temps in the middle of the summer, were, it's a little bit warm, but not too bad. So... Nice day and super quiet. Like last night, dead quiet. So that was kind of nice. We are just down the road from the Jordan L State Park and Reservoir in Heber Valley. And in Heber Valley, they have this unique crater thing that we're gonna go check out. And we'll let you guys know what's going on. First, we're gonna see if we can check it out. First, we're gonna see if we can check it out. Then, we, then we'll check it out, if we can <laughs> check it out. All right, well, that was quick. The sessions are reserved only, but they have a spot in the session that started four minutes ago. So we're already four minutes late, but we're going to the crater. This ought to be cool. Oh, and it's hot spring. It's not too hot though. It's 95 degrees, but it should be nice. It's not like freezing cold water. <laughs> Um, this is pretty crazy. You can go like hot tubby kind of thing and just blow it.
I don't know, pretty cool. We're gonna have to get more information about this, but pretty, pretty, pretty slick. Already feel like the, the, heat. the heat of the water. They said it's 95 degrees all year round. Pretty cool. <laughs> Is it nice? You almost ran that poor lady over. Like a bull in a china shop, Lorena. All right, down we go. It certainly is. GoPro, and it's got a floaty on it, so if I drop it. Ah, nice. Yeah. So what do you think? This is crazy. It's so nice. It's so nice. And then I was kind of hesitant. I'm like, a life jacket, really? But then you can just like You can this. just lay down and go. Ah, you can just kind of look kind of feel. Yeah, so creative. check that out. I have to say, totally different experience. I know we have done Devil's Den. Yep. And that was one what it has is like the shrubbery coming down. And yeah. That's the part that it's beautiful. It's beautiful to the eye, but when you go into the water, it's freezing. This one, totally different experience. It's just nice and warm. Yes. Now this here, this what this was, was giant bees formed this back in the day. And then when they left the hive, it got flooded and it formed this. Oh yeah, and supposedly there's divers underneath us, like scuba divers underneath here. So I don't know if you can see that. All right, Lori, so you've been in here for five minutes. It was $13 a piece yes. for a 40 minute soak. Mm -hmm. Rating it on one to four with one being skip it, two being if you're in the area, three being day trip, and four being bucket list. What would you rate this? I love hot water, warm water, hot tubs, warm pools. I love that. So for me, if I'm in the area, definitely is a must. Day trip, I don't know if I would drive for the day. I guess I would. Like, just come in here. Have if lunch. you're in Salt Lake area, yeah, it's like, come up. It's a beautiful valley. It's a beautiful valley. There is, like, after you do this, you can go and have lunch somewhere else. Like, oh, my God, what's the town we just passed? Midway? Midway, yeah. It was a very beautiful town. All right, with that being said, I rated a two if you're in the area. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, uh, pretty and feels nice. So, your rating? I'm between two and three. Yeah? Yeah. You can't. There's no two and a half. I would do... You're in Salt Lake. You found that this I place exists. I would do a day out of it, including this and the area. Yeah, like if you're staying at Jordan L State Park, come on down here. It's only a 15-minute drive. Yeah, that's not even that. That's in the area. Yeah, that's in the area. Kind that's of, not I a guess. day trip. All right. But if you're in Salt this Lake took City, way too long. This is supposed to be quick and easy. If you're in Salt Lake City, do a day trip. All right. And come here. All right, cool. And do other stuff too. Homestead Crater was 10,000 years in the making when water percolated up from below, bringing minerals with it and causing this crater to form. How cool is that? Fresh air and sunlight come in through the hole in the top and the water temperature of 90 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit keeps the inside of the crater extremely comfortable year round. Very cool. That was a lot of fun. It was totally worth the $15. That's a one five. People usually have a hard time 13, like understanding me. $13, one three. I thought, I thought it was 15. No, 26 bucks is 15 if we snorkeled. No, it was 18 if we snorkeled. All right, well then it was 13 because it was like $26, I think. We're gonna have to recheck our facts once we get, oh no, we gave our receipt up, so never mind. Oh, we can see it online. 13 and 18, a five dollar difference for the snorkel. Yeah, well, it's 20. Is it worth a snorkel? No, I mean, there's nothing to see other than the uh, the divers underneath you, so. And that's if they're underneath you. Yeah, but definitely worth the soak. I feel all refreshed now. Yeah, nice and relaxed. And you come out to this, how beautiful. Thank you.
From Provo, Utah, we decided to stay off of the interstate highway as usual and take US 89 down south. It was an absolute spectacular drive as you would expect out of Utah, including some of the small towns and even a tour through Manti, home of another temple of the Mormon church. We have arrived in Richfield, Utah, and we're just rolling into the old blue there. Walmart, pick up a few things, and oh, probably this is where we're staying. You don't call it Walmart National Park anymore. Oh, it's yeah, right. I forgot about Walmart National Park. That was my joke for crying out loud. Yeah, <laughs> but this one is about to go down, so time to find a place and just stay for the night. Yep. So Jordan L State Park in Utah was pretty cool. I'd never heard of it before, but uh, I don't live in Utah, so I'm I very, guess that's not a surprise. Yeah, very nice weather in the summertime, so great for water sports, and I'm sure weekends probably gets crowded, but during the week should be fine. Yeah, but uh, but beautiful spot. And on our way back down to Las Vegas, we found the Homestead Crater, and that was <gasps> super cool. I kept stay there all day long, but the pass only gives you a certain amount of time, I think 45 minutes. Is. Yeah, they have like a 45 so, minute yeah, session. I could have totally stayed there all day long. Yeah, Warm it was, water. It was absolutely gorgeous. And just the, the drive down through Utah, if you ever get a chance, even if it's just a drive through Utah, absolutely gorgeous state. Mm -hmm. But yeah. this is where we're going to end this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means I have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video. And we'll see you again in the next episode. Bye, guys. See ya. Ozzy's screaming in the background. I know. As usual. He, he wants to go out. <laughs> if we're out, he wants to be out. So let's go join him.